Guys, so the sunlight going through my blinds is back. So forgive that once again. But that's not what this video is about. Today's video is about melting anything in Blender. And we're going to animate it. So let's get into Blender 2.8. So let's just go in and add in just any mesh. I'm going to go into Icosphere and subdivide this guy. So many of you may know about proportional editing. So what you would do, say you can use any of these, but I'm going to choose point. So I'm going to pick this guy right here. And right up here is called proportional editing. If you've never heard of it, this is really cool and really fun way to mess with objects and play with their shape. So you have all these options. We're just going to play with random. So what that's going to do is whenever I click this guy here, pull it down this little circle, which you can navigate the size of it with your scroll wheel, you can bring it down. So just like that, we've kind of melted it, but I'm not just going to show you guys how to do it. I'm going to show you guys how to make it look good. So, so uh, we're going to subdivide here and say right about there because I want really big goops. What I just did subdividing was those really small goops. I'm calling them goops, like drips, and things like that. So now that we have much bigger vertices, I'm going to select this guy. But first, I'm going to add in a subdivision surface modifier. And we're going to go right here. Can't find it. There we go. I'm going to give it a viewport of 2. So now we'll go back into edit mode and do the same thing. And then, of course, go back to proportional editing, random, bring it down. And then we have much bigger drips, and it looks just so much better. But I didn't show you guys how to animate it, so let's do that. We're going to use this thing called shape keys. And a lot of people use this shape keys for things like blink animations and things like that. So you go to this vertex area right here, shape key. So to add it, click this plus symbol twice gives you bias I mean basis and key one now that you're there make sure key one is selected hit tab and do your drip so I'm gonna go back animate random bring this down and however far down you want it and when you hit out of edit mode it's gone the way to get it back is value you slide your value over and BAM you have your animation I'm gonna shade smooth this guy now to make the drip look nice, we're going to go to edit preferences and make sure that your animation in the tab default interpolation is on Bezier. So we're going to right click, insert keyframe, and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, I think about four seconds is good. Bring the value all the way to the end and click the keyframe. And now we can just watch it. Nice melting animation. And yeah. So it's simple as that. It's super cool. Shape cures are fun. Proportional editing is fun. You can go and mix and match and all those things and you can melt anything. You might have some vertice problems as you go on just playing with vertexes. So if it's like a really dense mesh, you're going to want to um, decimate it, but then you'll have problems with there. So depends on the model, how good your melting will look, but this is a simple way without working with fluid dynamics to make something melt. So yeah, thanks for watching.